Hey gang, welcome back to Wes Houston Presents. Well, today's guest is one of my all-time favorite guitarists. His ability to play at a consistently high level, no matter what the form, has always boggled my mind. Oh, he's also an ace writer, graphic artist, guitar instructor, and technician. Heck of a family man, too. Today, you're going to see one aspect of his many styles. Well, I hope you're ready to get looped, gang, as Wes Houston Presents, Douglas Baldwin, The Coyote Loops.
<laughs> Douglas, <laughs> would anyone play with you anymore? <laughs> <laughs> this is this is insane, man. It sounds so nice. It's you know, I'm sitting over there. It's almost like I'm waiting for something to happen. It's like <laughs> <laughs> the movie just uh, yeah, it's yeah, excellent. Yeah. It's excellent. Now. Um, you play so many styles, today we're going to concentrate on looping. Can you tell me, um, give me a little bit how you got into looping and what your early influences on looping were. Yeah, well, uh, probably the first thing that, that uh, caught my attention was uh, uh, the Beatles Revolver album. Uh, there's a cut called uh, Tomorrow Never Knows, and anybody that's into the Beatles knows that that was a, a radical piece of music in which they used loops of tape. And this is where the term looping, looping comes from. from. Right. Uh, and in the studio, what they did was they, they, they made these recordings on loops of tape, and they loaded them into separate tape machines, and they actually played them almost like a musical instrument, where they you know, raised and lowered faders to bring these looping sounds in and out of the song. Gee, so I never do that. That's excellent. So, yeah. so that's, that's you know, where it first caught my attention. Um, in popular music, it didn't really uh, catch on that much at first. But there were uh, so-called serious composers who, who did some interesting work. And back around, uh, probably around 1972, 73, I heard uh, of a musician named Steve Wright who had been working with tape loops and then worked with live musicians to recreate the sound that he had been working with with uh, tape looping, which was also uh, uh, being done by a guy named Terry Riley. And these were, you know, somewhat academic composers, but working way outside of the traditional classical realm. And I heard Steve Reich in a performance, and it was 73 or 74. Really? Okay. Yeah, so that was, and that was the thing that kind of blew my mind. That was a, just a crazy performance. This is in Los Angeles. And there it was a, uh, a, a pretty small group of people. I, I, I bet there were 50 people in the audience. He starts up, and in fact, that piece that I just did, which is called The Long Dance, by the way, okay. um, that, that's, a, that's heavily influenced by Steve Reich. So you can imagine musicians performing these kind of repetitive patterns. So 50 or 60 people in the audience, in the first three minutes, like 10 people walked out. Really? And then, yes. <laughs> <laughs> about six or seven minutes into it, people are getting up and dancing. Really? Yeah. Okay. So, okay. So he weeded out the non-believers. Exactly. And he grabbed everyone else. So that was a huge influence. And then to kind of bring it back into the popular realm, the, the, the realm of popular music, um, Robert Fripp began working with uh, uh, tape loops, or actually a, two tape machines was the way that he did it, really? with uh, Brian Eno. And what year would that be about? Was about, well, I think he did his first experiments around 74, Okay, so we're still on the actual tapes at this point. Yeah, physical yeah. tapes. Physical tapes, yeah. 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 And, um, and he created some, some, well, the two of them, Robert Fripp and Brian Eno, created some real landmark performances. And I got to see Robert Fripp back in... Uh, 77 or 78 at the kitchen oh, wow. in, in Lower Manhattan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and that lit me up because here was, you know, up until then it was all either keyboards or synthesizers or other instruments, and here was a guy with a guitar. Yes. And I just went, yes! Yes. I can do this. Yeah. Getting on guitar like sounds. Yes. And almost like uh, otherworldly. You know? yeah. Very true, but with a guitar. With a guitar. And, that, see, yeah. and that kind of blew me open. But So you're saying that, though, uh, uh, looping can be done really with any instrument, you're saying, oh, basically. Yeah. A keyboard player could be into looping or... Yeah. yeah, but yeah. So you were turned on by the guitar, Robert Fripp. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that had a huge. So did you immediately run home and attempt all of this? Or, uh... <laughs> well, well, I had been trying some of it all along oh, because okay. because the the idea of tape of, of working with physical tape was not that hard. You could take any old tape machine, right? And if you if you set it up right, I used to use push pins, and you you'd stick some push pins around the edge of the tape machine and run your run your tape loop around that. And you could, you could make tape loops that way, but it was a very clumsy thing. It wasn't the kind of thing you could take out and play on a regular basis right, to, right. To, in a live situation. Um, 
And, and what happened slowly was that the, the uh, technology developed so that instead of using tapes after a while, it was digital information, which is Which is more today. like you'll be able to go to the store and buy a few items, which we'll talk about in a minute. Yeah, yeah. But how about we'll another tune? Sure. Now, what's the name of this one? All these tunes are your own composition. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and these are very, very open-ended things if it's not right obvious right if um, we, we weren't, it wasn't a time constraint you could play these things one song for the 25 i, I like to do these yeah. you know ideally uh for very long stretches if right. possible if the, right. the situation uh, uh permits yeah um the piece i'm going to do now is called georgia o'keefe oh okay after you know the George painter. Okay, after the painter. Yeah. Right. We're ready so, for Georgia O'Keefe. It'll take me just a, a moment. A couple of to minutes of adjustments. Change my adjustments and we'll fire it up. Excellent.
Yes. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> Doug, this is hard to believe, but this time has like flying by here. <sighs> I mean, as we've only scratched the surface, and uh, I want to tell everybody that you have a fabulous website that they can investigate looping more, as well as seeing some great old photos, a great bio of you, uh, your many projects, where you're going to be playing, and your CD availability, because you're, you're recording a looping. That's right. You are, a That's looping right. CD. Now, just briefly, looping, basically what you're doing through your equipment is you're setting uh, like a landscape and you're building one thing after the other, adding something each time as you go along. Precisely, yes. This is, this is by the way, referred to as live looping, which is as opposed to uh, what you very often hear in, in, in songs these days, which is basically studio sampling and repeating. Uh, okay. So I'm doing everything really on the There's fly. There's no sampling here. You're playing. No. Yeah. yeah you, you, exactly, it's, it's, exactly. Exactly. You are doing everything. You're setting it from the original rhythm to your lead work. Everything is going on right now. Exactly. There's he, no samples. There's no pre-recorded music whatsoever involved. The only the only pre-recorded thing, if you could call it that, is the drum tracks. The, oh, the, I thought uh, you had a little drum track. <laughs> <laughs> a little guy, right? Where is he? <laughs> oh, God. Well, you know, uh, yeah. I hope that people, that this is their introduction to looping and that they take it the next step. Go to your website. I know you have some wonderful references yes. where you can f advance your knowledge of looping uh, through uh, different musics and books and magazines and stuff like that on your website yes exactly thanks so much buddy oh man it's just so quick <laughs> you know pleasure. Um, pleasure can you play us out with one i'll play you out excellent beautiful Thank you.